you probably know that I'm with Plexus and you're like, oh no, here she goes again with another Plexus sales uh, spiel here. <laughs> um, this is my oldest son, Timothy. Want to show off your muscles, bud? No. <laughs> and I uh, just hope that you have a great 9-11 Sunday. We throw away those rights and we just say, I want to live like the world. And you know what? Someday we're going to lose all of those rights and we could be being tortured. Things. Hillary does not want us to, to be able to say that we need to protect the life of a, an unborn baby and she will do whatever it takes to destroy our beliefs in preserving the life of a little innocent baby. This is our little spot. I, I thought, you know what I envision this to be right here is our courtship bench someday for our children, which I think is going to be happening more quickly than we think. And Kevin and Amy are big advocates. And I say this with emotion because I told Amy, I said to her one time when I was on the phone with her, I said, at least when you're paralyzed, you don't feel any pain. And Amy told me that's not true. She said, I have a lot of pain still in my arm. But when she started taking plexus, it took away her pain. And she said, I don't know if it was plexus or if it was the Lord, but maybe it was the Lord bringing me to plexus. But she said, I don't feel that pain anymore. And so anyways, I just, I know that a lot of you just think this is just a, another networking marketing thing. But for me, it's a lot more than that. I have a sister that has been going through intense suffering. And yet, she has found something that's helped to ease that suffering a little bit. Uh, Beauty from Ashes. They, they are my posts from day one all the way until she hit her first year anniversary. My sister Amy. So that's what the book is about. And I also wanted to mention, too... Uh, I wrote the book, Mr. Axley. Uh, my friend's dying wish was that we sang at her funeral. And so we had talked to her husband, and he said, please come and sing at the funeral. So we got there early, and we walked up to the front, and there lay my friend. And I just went, and I stroked her hand, and I said, I'm going to miss you. And I'm so thankful that I had that moment at the beginning before other people were arriving. So we began to set up our instruments and, and get ready for the funeral. And an individual whom I had never met came up to me and told me that we, very rudely, that we would not be singing at the funeral. <laughs> 